Okay. Hello everyone, welcome to Lily and Jason's Christmas concert. Um, we're gonna be, oh, there's Lily, <laughs> she's here. And we're gonna be starting with the music in just a couple minutes. I'll start playing the first piece on the piano, but you're in the right place, so just stay where you are, and we'll be back in a couple of minutes. Thank you so much. Thanks again for joining us. I know some people are still joining in, but I just thought I would entertain you by starting with one of my favorite pieces. This is by J.S. Bach. It's his famous birthday cantata, known as Sheep May Safely Graze. And here it's an arrangement by a famous Russian pianist, Egon Petri. The Sheep May Safely Graze. Thank you. 
Thank you, Jason. That was beautiful. Good evening. Thank you all for joining us. I know that Jason and myself are very excited to be performing for you this evening. And I think I'm going to ask Jason to play that beautiful Bach piece one more time just to, to make it possible for us all to relax together into this beautiful holiday concert. So Jason, take Sounds it good. away one more time. <laughs>
thank you so much, and thanks for being willing to play it twice. Oh, I think it was better the second time. <laughs> Can I do all my pieces twice? Take that all the <laughs> way. Um, good evening, everyone, one more time, in case you're just joining us for the live stream now. This is Jason Worth, Hello. my amazing friend and super talented pianist. And I'm Lily Arbiser, soprano, and this is the home that I share with my wonderful husband, Adam, who's helping on sound tonight, as is our good friend, Kenny Feldman. And I've been told to speak louder, so I hope you can hear me out there. We put together this concert for you when Lori Marshall reached out and asked if it might be possible to make a holiday concert, especially one that we could live stream out. So this concert this evening is co-sponsored by the Heritage Museum and Cultural Center and by Lake Michigan Music, both organizations I'm very grateful to have a chance to sing for and especially to sing for at once, so thank you. The first piece that I will be singing this evening is one of the most famous song pieces written by Robert Schumann. And something I really want to point out about this piece that is so spectacular is that we are kind of in this constant suspension throughout until the very end. And I think the holidays is really about home. And I think that if you pay close attention, you'll feel when Jason and I land at home together.
Josef Marx, a very famous Austrian composer whose song literature hasn't made it into kind of the regular canon of song literature that you hear nowadays. But I am really excited, as I know Jason is, to, to present this really beautiful setting of a poem by Novalis, Marian Lied, A Song to Mary. I think you'll hear almost a jazziness, although he really was a, rom a romantic and a tonal composer, and he was so at a kind of difficult time in history and I think that's maybe why he he paid with his work not really making it into the regular canon. The other thing I was thinking about is, you know, is it the fourth Marx brother? <laughs> I thought that was Carl. Oh right, <laughs> Carl. Josef Marx. So here is Marian Lied. <laughs> Thank you. 
The next very brief piece that we have for you is a sweet little tune by Leonard Bernstein. And it was actually written for Karl Böhm. He's a famous conductor and it was for his 85th birthday and was premiered by an extremely famous German mezzo-soprano named Christa Ludwig. I think you'll hear that this was sort of a, a bit of a, of a joyful, jokey kind of piece where Leonard actually takes what is um, essentially a Jewish tune, one that he probably made up. We can call it a nigun, and it's kind of um, a Hasidic or Yiddish kind of tune that often has bum bi bum bi bum or lai la lai la lo, and that's what he takes for the nonsense syllables of this really sweet piece. Oh, 
Lily, um, so much for inviting me to play this wonderful holiday concert. Um, so this next piece that I wanted to play for you is just a little interlude. It doesn't have much to do with Christmas, except to me it sounds like Christmas. And I first heard this piece, it came up on my automatic playlist on YouTube. And it's a piece by one of my favorite composers, Francis Poulenc. And I heard someone playing this piece and I said, I want to play that. So this is the Poulenc first nocturne in C major. I hope you enjoy. on the program is from a beautiful aria by Nikolai Rinsky Korsakov entitled The Snow Maiden. And I figured, you know, we're thinking about winter, we're thinking about the holidays, who better than a snow maiden to represent that, right? Yeah. <laughs> or like sort of like Snow White. She's, she's this um, half mythical, half real, or half human creature who lives in the woods with uh, her father, Father Frost, and her mother, Spring Beauty. And she has seen what it's like to be human because she sees all of the girls sort of frolicking and picking berries in the woods. And she asks her father, just let me go live with them. You know, I, I just really would love to go picking berries and dancing in circles and singing songs. So that's what you're going to hear.
where Mimi is deciding to say goodbye to Rodolfo because she's overheard a conversation with him and his friend Marcello. And he says she's sick and he doesn't know how to take care of her. So she's really trying to take care of him in this moment and explain they should part ways and without any resentment. Of course, this is sort of the greatest, as I think Jason put it, I don't want to spend the holidays alone, baby, kind of song. So um, that's really what they decide. They decide to stay together for the winter. But he or she is calming his nerves about the breakup they both know is inevitable. Oh, 
share with you now a little Christmas story. It was the night before Christmas, and all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, but they were empty, because Beethoven, as usual, forgot to do his holiday shopping. So here we see him. It's a busiest shopping day of the year. It's cold. Beethoven's out hitting all the stores. This isn't a time in the distant past when there were things that used to be known as stores. And um, so he's out there, he's dealing with, oh, the lights are too bright, the songs are terrible, the lines are too long, it's cold, it's snowy, and on the way home, he trips and falls, and his favorite penny goes rolling into the storm drain. It's too much for anyone to take. So, here you have it, the rage over the lost penny.
Take them out. Thank you. Thanks. Now we have an incredible gem from the wonderful American composer Charles Ives. I think we can probably all agree that this holiday season is a little bit different. It's, it's um, hard for many of us that we won't be with our loved ones or that we have to not see them even if we live in the same city. And I thought, you know, we should acknowledge this and we should talk about the longing that might be in many of our hearts during this holiday season. So for that reason, I chose an incredible piece of music by a Russian Jewish composer named Efraim Shkliar. And actually, we heard the Rimsky-Korsakov earlier, and Rimsky-Korsakov said of him, he's going to be the next Jewish Glinka. So there were high hopes for him. And here he's setting an incredibly beautiful poem by one of the greatest Jewish poets and philosophers, Yehuda Halevi, from the 12th century, I believe. And this poem is filled with the longing for Jerusalem and the longing for home and the taste of honey that one might experience from touching one's lips to the earth.
had completely considered what a juxtaposition it would be to finish that piece <laughs> and then move into one of the best-selling singles of all time, which is White Christmas, which I think probably doesn't need much of an introduction. So here we are. Oh, 
holidays. Happy holidays, everyone. Thank you for joining us. Thank